So uh, today I thought I'd give you a quick look at our new car, uh, which is the Tesla Model 3 Long Range, which we have just gotten off the NHS fleet scheme here in the UK. And um, in another video, I'll tell you how you can um, get onto the scheme if you work in the NHS. Um, so the car um, essentially is a fully electric car um, available in, in a few different colors, but I would say red is the best and I obviously have a bias for it. And uh, sorry. Um, so the car recognizes my Bluetooth uh, and that's why it would automatically open and uh, and then when you get into the car you have a pretty minimalistic design all you have is this screen here and we've uh, named our car as the red chariot it tells you what percentage of batteries left on the car and uh, where you are on the map and and then I'll I'll just run you through what are the different features here so this is the volume these are the heating options for the front and the rear window these are heating options for your seat and it recognizes what setting do you want to leave it so when you get into the car it automatically starts heating up the the seats uh, what you also get is this differential seating, uh, um, sort of heating for the for the seats, and uh, you can put it to two, one, or zero, and again back to three based on which passenger you want this uh, heating to be operating on. Um, then you have the fan, which again is quite digitally located you can increase or decrease uh, the fan uh, as well as the direction in whichever way you want it. then the temperature uh, of the car and then you can keep them out of sync or in sync uh, based on the, the temperature that you want in the front and the and, and the back of the car then you have other features like uh, you have a toy box so there are these uh, nice little things that you can play uh, while you're waiting for the car to be charged, for example. Uh, so there's this really good romantic uh, scheme or theme that you can play. And then when you tap on it, it starts playing a song. Incredible, isn't it? Uh, then you have... Let me just pause the music. Okay, then you can go on the sketch pad, for example, and you can, you know, they, these are good for the kids, essentially, uh, if they're getting frustrated uh, with the car being waited, uh, waiting when you're charging them. You can have other games, for example, um, which is available in entertainment. So... There's a very good game called Beach Buggy Racing where your Tesla steering wheel is actually the, is how you control this game. Let's actually show you this. Oh, well, it'll take time, so we'll do it later. Theatre, you can play Netflix, you can play YouTube. This car has its own LTE built in into the car, so you don't have to put uh, another SIM. It's not connected to you. I mean, the phone is connected, to the car through Bluetooth, but this LTE is separate and comes with the car, you don't pay for them. Um, other things, you can browse the internet, you can, this is the charging, so this shows that, uh, you know, the, the car battery is at the bottom of the, of the car, so it shows that it's 85%, and then this, with this here, you open the charging port at the back, uh, you have cameras and you can you can turn on the sentry mode essentially um, You know if, if there's anybody who's near the car that would activate and that will start recording the video on this USB device that is connected to the car here. This is something that I've put um, These are just masks that we've put because we're still in this COVID pandemic at the moment uh, and then 
the usual car uh, calls that you can make. The other things to just note are that in terms of all the settings are here with your likes, with your locks, um, and your driving modes uh, as well, uh, your navigation settings, um, and one really good feature of the car, especially when you're driving the motorway, is this auto steer and also, uh, auto lane assist feature. Uh, essentially, the car will will stay in the lane, and even if the lane were to turn left or right, it will turn automatically to a certain degree and keep itself. So when I'm doing this long drives between Oxford and Liverpool, um, it's quite helpful. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll just show you the, our local park here. Uh, it's the Sefton Park. It's quite a beautiful day uh, here in Liverpool. So uh, here I'm just driving in my uh, Tesla. Uh, Jivika is very kindly recording uh, the video. You can say hi, Jivika. Hi. <laughs> so, um, so we are just driving next to our local park here, Sefton Park, and um, just talking you through how the drive in Tesla is. So you can see on the map, uh, Jivika, if you could show that yeah. the car um, shows up here. It recognizes all the other cars through uh, these LiDAR um, and you know also if you can see people walking as well in front um, so it tries to recognize that through through its radar system um, and then the car actually is very s stable and um, you really feel that you're in a comfortable uh, luxurious luxurious car <laughs> um, and um, and then when it starts off, if you think so, we are almost at zero miles per hour right now. And uh, in a second, when we'll uh, get starting, uh, you'll see that it just doesn't make any noise at all, uh, which is incredible. And um, I also like this uh, rooftop, which is transparent. So especially if you have a nice sunny day like today, you uh, really enjoy okay so here you go so we are going to start now now and then from zero we have already gone to about 10 miles and still not making any sound and it's about 20 miles that you just start hearing so yeah it's great from that point of view and the ride is quite comfortable the other thing you can do is i'm just going to show you here i don't know if it'll work at such a low speed limit but uh, this is the cruise control that I've activated, so now I don't have my foot on the pedal, so it's automatically accelerating, which you have in most of the other, other cars uh, at this range. But now I've activated something called the auto assist. So what it does is just asking me to put hands on the wheel, but here I essentially have given the control to the car. So my foot is not on the pedal accelerator it's trying to maintain the speed at around 20 and what's also doing is it's matching the speed of the car that is in front of us so if there was a car that would be if they were going out, a bit slower yeah yeah so if they were going a bit slower then it would decrease its speed to match the speed of the car in front of you and it, it would automatically brake and then if you're running at a lower speed if the car moves out of lane it will just accelerate to maintain the speed at around 20. so at here if you look at it so now it's the, the road is turning towards the left slowly but it's not me who's doing the turning so if you look here so this is a quite a degree of turning and the, the car automatically turned towards the left now here again i didn't br press the brake pedal it dropped to 16 miles per hour automatically recognizing that the car in front had stopped um, and again here it's doing its its own auto assist uh, and that's really really makes it a comfortable ride especially when you're on doing long uh, people who do long distance and here if you see the car in front has stopped it dropped it automatically to yeah. almost zero and then it automatically starts accelerating so you sure you're not 
you're not doing anything. No, I'm not doing anything. anything. Yeah. So, and that's how, uh, you know, when I'm doing this you, uh, every weekend that I'm driving up to Liverpool from Oxford to see Jivika. In the Tesla train. In the Tesla train. Um, so it's, it's quite comfortable. Uh, I don't mind it. Yeah. Although I earn brownie points from Jivika for doing all these rides. <laughs> So yeah, look at the and, uh, this sorry, is a I'm diverting a bit, but I, I love this part of the park. Yeah. Um, and you can set the speed limit. The speed limit actually is not 30; it's around 20 around this park. So, and then now you just turn off the auto assist, and then drive the turn. I feel like we're driving through um, some redwood trees or something in California. That's how it looks on the screen anyway. Yeah, absolutely. Is there anything else you want to share? Mm, uh, some, at a later time, maybe when we get near the okay. city center.